Hey guys, so this is another still good video. This time it's for Steed Light, and uh, we actually have a guildy um, in our guild that uh, he doesn't really uh, like Steed Light. Uh, he, he says, why should I even bother upgrading him because he's not good at all. And wow, that, that created an uproar on our guild chat. <laughs> Because, <laughs> yeah, Steed, Steed Light is one one of those uh, sleeper power heroes that people li like to ignore. But he is an amazing, amazing hero. So if you think he's he's not good, well, you got to watch this video for sure. Because there are things... I pretty much use him the, every single day if, if, um, if I think about it a lot. Because I'll, I'll show you why. So Steed Light... First of all, his ability does 160 for all enemies, but the big thing about him is his Vortex. And his Vortex, uh, when when um, when allies deal skill damage, has a 33% chance to deal 80% extra damage to all enemies. Has a lower chance to trigger when damaged by blue Nagia Stones. So... At first glance, you may think, okay, he does extra damage and all that, but there are some things you have to know about him. This ability also doesn't really work so well when the enemy has a lot of shields. So if you're going to go on the attack versus a, a shield team, this this uh, ability may not be the best one uh, to go after. You could, for example, uh, give him the whip, and that will give en energy to the other Heroes you have, and after you remove all the shields, you go in and do his ability. And and he'll give you time, because he is a slow hero. So let's talk about his awakenings real quick. Uh, his first one uh, gives him uh, pretty much uh, 20... You could say that's 20% uh, mana to cast the skill. So since he's a slow hero, the more he goes off, the better. So that's a pretty good plus one for him. Then the usual 10%. The third one will make him even faster. So he's if he goes off uh, one to pretty much two times, he's gonna go off a lot faster than before. You could say that you could he could turn into an average hero with these two here, so that's pretty nice. The usual 10%. His plus five is not very good if you're going to go uh, fight uh, in arena fight. It could be good. Uh, or much more better if you're going to war with those really long fights and things like that. But the mo the thing you're going to use this m the most, it's uh, actually fighting for bosses. Because you need to go fast, and you need to do as much damage as possible. Especially if it's a boss that has a lot of um, targets. And this is the part of the video that I really like. We're going to talk about Intruder Boss. So... If you know me, you know that I absolutely love fighting Valor bosses um, because of the rush that you get from attacking so much. And Intruder Boss is not different in that respect at all. Uh, the difference is that you get to fight them every single day and you can be able to use Deed Light every day. And I'm going to show you how I do it anyway. So, Zed Light, I like to give him this weapon because I think it's better than his own weapon because... This weapon is going to stack up to three times, and that's going to give him 60% crit. Instead of, I think he gets like 25 with his or so. There. So, and something unusual on the weapons that I use here is for Deed Light, which is actually Father. So this is Father and Son here. <laughs> A little nice there for, for the lore. So I like to give Soul Collector, uh, that's, this is Damon's weapon on on this guy so to get to actually get the crit because he even though he loses 25 percent he's still going to get 35 percent uh for uh for shield so it doesn't really matter so usually i go with this dragon i'm, I'm going to try later with the red one but let's go with the just to make sure to go with it to the best here to survive as much all right let's go guys so I like to play the bosses at 3x, the 3 speeds, coat. that way it's a lot more exciting for me. Ah, oh, I hate when this happens. Go like this. Hmm, not the best connection there, that's for sure. Alright, always remember to turn on this, and I turn on these two if you're gonna use this team. And then do it like this. 
Oh yeah. Here we go. Awesome. So here, make sure to activate the, the dragon. And keep tapping on Steep Light. And you see how Steep Light ability just uh, does damage to every single guy here. Boom! Look at that. Oh, I absolutely love that. So you keep on doing it. You keep on doing it until you do as much damage as, as you can here. So let's do it like that to see if we can get a nice connection. And we keep doing it, even if we don't have a lot of connections here. Uh, we do have a good one here. Very nice. And you keep doing it. You keep doing it over and over again. This is pretty much uh, how I do uh, Intruder Boss every single day. And they keep filling up. Okay. This time you have to activate Alia. For sure. And then... Here we go. Let's see, I think this one will connect. Ah, it actually didn't. Let's see here, and... Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Doesn't matter how many times we have to. Something you have to remember about a va of um, Intruder Boss is that if, if the things are not going very well, you can just come here and just leave and try again so you you're you don't have to be forced to stay with the score that you actually have so that's something you have to remember yeah oh, i love that all those connections going up and that's that's 100 percent uh, steed light there and since it's three targets it's going to do a lot more damage than otherwise let's do it like this here all right we're five million here First Alia to cleanse here. Dragon. Ugh. Oh my god, this is so cool, guys. Oh, yes. Alright. One for Steve. There we go. Just a little bit more. Boom. <laughs> Oh. All right, last one. Ah! <laughs> that is so much fun, guys. So, you see that? Just Deed Light does 4.4 million damage. <laughs> that is, that is crazy. But also a lot, a lot of fun. I, I always get a rush of playing this every single day. I become a junkie of playing, playing um. Um, the intruder bosses every single day, but you have to do it at X3 because the speed does does make it more exciting. So uh, places you can actually use Deed Light is you can use him in arena on defense. A lot of people like to use him to hold the whip. He's not a bad uh, whip holder uh, since he's slow. He's not going to go off much, but if you don't have a bet better option, then he's not a bad one at all. On the attack, as as you saw versus teams that um, that don't have a lot of shields, he's an amazing one to have there. And uh, if not, don't bring him against a team with shields. You're gonna be disappointed. But always bring him for Valor Boss if you're, you're gonna use a blue team for sure. He's he does a lot of damage, and he's super exciting to use for sure. So, do I still? Do I still think that uh, Steed Light is a uh, it's a good hero? Oh, it's pretty obvious by now. Yes, if if you if you have a hero that you use every single day and he does the job, he's gonna be good always. And Steed Light is one of them for me at least. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.